<laughs> I accidentally pressed record as I was trying to fix my hair. This is like, <laughs> all right, so, yeah, maybe that should be my low for the day. No, but um, let's see. My low yesterday to start things off. Mm. Honestly, I guess my low was, you know what my low was? It's the fact that, like, I actually went to bed early, right? I still woke up even later than normal. I mean, yeah, granted, I haven't been getting the greatest sleep lately, but, you know, it sort of puts me behind a little bit is all. So, it's really more of an inconvenience than anything else. A lot more inconvenient than that truck that drove by just now. Um, in terms of the noise in the background and such. Um, right, so, my high yesterday? Um, well, I got to talk to my grandma again. Um, you know, she said uh, she had a wonderful time at the lake, which I'm really glad. I'm really glad that, um, you know, whenever my family goes up to the lake that, you know, we have a good time and that's really important. So knowing that, you know, my family had a wonderful time this past weekend, you know, come on, how do you knock your natural high from that? That's just, that'd be silly. And my act of kindness was, hmm, let's see, what was my act of kindness? Uh... Jeepers, I, uh, oh, right, um, speaking of my grandma, that was my act of kindness, I actually went to, went to the store and got her some groceries, yeah, because, uh, you know, because I'm like that, she didn't really need much, she, um, well, get ready for, well, to, uh, folks of uh, upstate New York and quite possibly the entirety of the Northeast, I went shopping at Wagmans for her, because, you know, it's Wagmans, Wagmans is awesome. And I, mean, I didn't really get her much. All she wanted was like a loaf of fresh bread and a rotisserie chicken. That's that's a, that's a, that's all she wanted. Which you know, come on, it's Wegmans already. That should. I mean, I can say, you know what? That really could have been my high yesterday too. I just I I went to Wegmans. That was my high. No, no, but but my high was knowing that you know my family did have. A wonderful time because you don't really learn. I mean, you mean you don't know if anyone had a good time sometimes until long after the fact. So, you know, it's nice to think about. Nice to you don't need to worry about anything else. See, man, man, I'm tired. Oh yeah. Um. Right. So, with that out of the way, good morning and happy Tuesday, everybody. It's actually something I noticed too, like. Back when I started doing these videos, I would always make the, I always say that Mondays are a real drag, and don't get me wrong, my accounts, they still are, but I'll be honest, I haven't really been paying much attention to how fast Monday goes by, at least for me, seriously, like the last like several Mondays have gone by like that, I mean, we're already at Tuesday already, holy, holy cow. Didn't really need to say already twice in a row like that. But, yeah, we are already on Tuesday. And that's, like, that's incredible. Um, anything else? No. Well, actually, one thing that actually is a, that's of note today is that um, if you wanted to say that today is quadruple sevens, you probably could. You know, seven, 21, because it's July 21st. So, yeah, you could do uh, quadruple sevens in that regard. Um, right there. Oh. Although, um, I mean, I'm probably going to mention this tomorrow, but I actually did some research. And, you know, I, I'll save it for tomorrow, right? if I can remember to do it for tomorrow. Note to self, save what I was going to say tomorrow, tomorrow. Because I don't want to... I don't want to figure what it is. Um, other than that, uh, hmm. I am drawing a blank. 
Oh dear. Um Man, what uh, uh should I? You know You know have I done it? Sorry, just I had an idea for a TP Tales that I could probably do now, but if I do, if I well, see if I don't do it now, it really wouldn't necessarily be ready. Basically, um, well, yeah, you know what? Why not? I'll do. So, uh, been a very long time since I've done one of these, but. Why not? So, the TP Tales on when I did cross country. Yeah, I don't think I ever actually did one when I actually did any of my sports or training polling, actually. So, yeah, I guess doing cross country sort of lends itself to, uh, you know, TP Tales, considering what came out of it at the very end, which I will be getting into. So,. If you, if anyone from Horseheads knows me, you guys knew, know that I played football. I mean, I did do cross country sophomore year at Horseheads because I got cut from doing football. But for the most part, I was a football player, specifically a lineman. Now, if you know the position of a lineman, then you know that Cardio necessarily wouldn't be their thing, and therefore cross country should be the last thing I ought to do. So why do cross country? Well, I couldn't play football at Trinity Pauling because Trinity Pauling has a rule where you can only have four PGs on your football team, and they had picked their four PGs long before I got accepted. So that was the breaks. So I was either going to do soccer or cross country. And I didn't really think, and could I go soccer? Probably. But I honestly don't know what position I would have been. Because for sure I'm not fast enough to be a midi or attack. And being the big guy that I was, I could have been a defender, but I still would have been too slow to do it. The only other position that would have made sense would have been goalie. But then again, it would sort of be in playing the stereotype of the designated big guy taking up the width of the goal. I don't know. So cross country was the way to go. Now, before I went to Trinity Park for cross country, I knew I was going to do it because that would have been the only other option I had. So, in preparation for, you know, doing cross-country training polling, I, you know, I did some training. I did. You know, one thing I remember, I definitely remember doing was, um, because this was something I have told before, and this is something I said doing these videos before, but it was something I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I could run a sub-six-minute mile. So, in trying to run a sub-six-minute mile, what I would do after school every day is I would go to the weight room, get on the treadmill, run for about 20 minutes, and around the 20-minute mark, I would run at 10 miles an hour for as long as possible. See, if you run at 10 miles an hour for six minutes, that's actually a six-minute mile. Yeah, that's, that's, that, yeah, that's really how it works. So, eventually, I was able to do it. In fact, before I had left Trinity Paul, before I left for, before I had graduated from Horseheads, the fastest mile I ever ran in gym class was 549. Not like world class speed. In fact, any distance runner could be like, oh, is that all? But, you know, for a lineman, you know, football, a, a football player who was a lineman, that's actually nothing to scoff at. Because I was like well over 200 pounds. Actually, I might have been like 220, 230 at the time. So the fact that I'm running that fast, yeah, that should be telling you something. So I did, so throughout the summer, I made sure that at least during the morning, I would do two runs, I would do two runs a day. 
I try and get them both done, one in the morning and one in the later morning. Yeah, I wanted to get it done before noon. So, with a, yeah, actually it was around three weeks before I went to street. Because here's the thing, I did work at my father's shop for a little while, but with like a little over a month, like three weeks before I went to Trinity Piling, that's when I started doing uh, essentially two a days, is, is what it was. Because, you know, hey, football players do it, why can't cross country runners do it? Which, actually, cross country sort of did have that, so yeah. And, um, you know, eventually I felt like I was in good shape, and I'll never forget that first weekend I was at Trinity Poly, because there was a race to determine, like, how fast everyone was. And the way cross country works is that you have a top seven. In that first race, I got eighth. That's how close I was. With all that hard work, all that training, I was devastated. But I didn't let that get me down. I put on my bootstraps and, you know, I worked hard, buckled down, ate a lot better. A week later, we did another race among the teammates. And, and I understand this. This is also before the arrivals of both Andrew Einstein and Jean, of the late Andrew Einstein and the late Sean Bertanza. So, it actually gets kind of nerve wracking. I actually end up getting fifth in that race, which I'm, which I'm feeling pretty good about that. And then came the likes of Andrew Einstein and other people, including the late Sean Bertanza. And I was just at eighth right there. So why did I get seventh? Well, to be perfectly honest, one of our athletes got what's called squiggly knee. I have no idea what that is, but the point is he had gotten injured. So I essentially, I mean, technically I was on varsity because one of my coaches said that I was technically on varsity with how good I was, but you know, vindication of getting the tops, but you know, getting top seven would have been like the vindication for me. So yeah. I did wind up getting top seven due to default, which according to Homer Simpson are the two sweetest words of the English language. But it wasn't just because of that. I had actually shown throughout the season that I really wanted to be there. I really wanted to work hard. And for my size and how what I was doing, the coaches were actually rather impressed. I mean, seriously, I didn't want to be there so bad that I once told my coach, and this is actually something I did, to ignore the pain I was feeling throughout near the end of the race, I actually would hit myself like, like, like this, just to ignore the pain I had. My coach left. And when we got to the fall awards ceremony, you know, I was uh, given the uh, Sean McCabe Award for all of my hard work and dedication. And I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't, I mean, that was probably the most proud of myself I'd been in a long, because here's the thing, I had no idea I was gonna win an award. I didn't set to run cross country for, for the sake of winning a, an award, I had no idea they existed. I mean, again, Really, I was the Trinity Pauling for wrestling, which didn't really pan out in college, but you know, it was something. I still got to do it. And, you know, I won the Sean McCabe Award, and, you know, I got to be applauded and recognized by my my peers at Trinity Pauling. I say they were my brothers, but I didn't really refer to them as my brothers until a little bit later. If you can probably guess as to, if you've been watching long enough, you can probably guess as to when that was. But I mean, being recognized and applauded by your peers, you know, that's, that's awesome. I really couldn't have asked for, you know, anything better. And one workout I'll never forget. Actually, one thing I'll never forget from my coach. And that's why he's one of the 16 of the left. Or right, I mean. And that is to, to move your feet. Now, 
must be a street sweeper going by. Wait. Sorry, that was my phone that fell down. That's embarrassing. Is there a... Okay. Sorry about that, folks. There's a street... I think I'd be a street sweeper going by. I don't know. And, uh, hey. Now you know that you're on my, uh, my computer. Sort of. Anyway. Um. Right. Now I lost my train of thought. Holy cow. Um... Yeah, my coach would say, move your feet. Now, obviously, when he said that, it was so it would keep going, you know, or finish our race. But honestly, move your feet is also a great metaphor for always to keep moving forward. So, if you take anything from this, folks, if you learn, and that's actually something I use whenever I run a marathon or I tell other friends who are about to run a marathon. If all else fails, just remember to keep moving your feet. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button. Follow me on social media platforms. Turn on my on YouTube. I am very humble. Make this video for all of you guys watching. Your video will be over. Wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Remember, if you guys want to talk to Sam, we'll be here to let you know. Everybody, take care and make good choices. See ya.